Thank you for staying with Daybreak. We'll come to your feedback in just a bit. But Honorable Farah, we are talking about the judicial overreach, which the lawyers seem not to agree with. How do you balance that then with the rule of law? You know, Trevor, you don't have to be a lawyer to read some of these things. Mm. Just try and Google what exactly judicial overreach is. Try and understand how actually this works, the separation of power works. Yeah. In all the accomplished, what you call democracies, nothing like what's happening in our country right now. One of the uh, uh, most celebrated cases in, 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 in law mm -hmm. is uh, Madison. Uh, Marbury versus Madison. Marbury, Madison, yeah, Marbury versus Madison in which a president had appointed somebody as a justice of peace. Everything went through to the end. The only thing is that the final bit of serving that was not done and the president left the office. So the new president refused to, to, to receive it. So he went to court. The Marbury went to court. Yes, they said, you have, you are grieved, yes. There's a remedy, yes. You can get orders, yes, but we cannot order the executive. We can't order the president. That was actually the basis for uh, the, one of the very first landmark cases on judicial review. Now, for us, for the courts to pretend <coughs> to do the things that are happening in this country is anarchy and chaos. It's the, the height of ignorance of the philosophy of how law operates in a democracy. And, and we, we are in a very bad situation. To the extent where, one time a judge said that uh, gay people have a right to associate. They say the law is an ass. But as long as it's not repealed, you know, <laughs> or amended, it still, it still remains the law. Mm. And in our own penal code, <coughs> gay is a crime. It's a criminal offense. Here is a judge coming out there and saying that, you know, they have a right to associate. It's tantamount to saying that murderers have a right to associate, <laughs> criminals have a right to associate. You know what I mean? The ones who, who uh, plotters have a right to associate. Because this thing is a crime in our own penal code right now. Until such time that the law is amended or repealed, whatever something is done, the, the, it still remains an, 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 what you call a crime. Okay. And then this guy, judge, goes out there and says, because he has seen some stuff and he wants to be in good books with the LBGTQ, whatever it is, where they are, the, whole, the rest of the world to be celebrated there, he comes up with this. So there is serious judicial overreach, yeah. judicial activism. And, and, and you know, you only, you can, the constitution is very clear. You shoot down a piece of legislation, not an intended legislation. Not telling Parliament you cannot enact a law like this. Uh, this, uh, if I were, if I were uh, in the government, and I'm not, I'm not talking about the merits and the demerits of the housing levy itself. Mm. I'm talking about how democracy should work and how the law should be applied in any civilized situation. Because tomorrow I could be the president. Sifona is much younger than me. He could be the president. He has a chance of becoming a president. Ngatana has a chance of becoming a president. I have a chance of becoming a president. Although, he, when I first went to Parliament, he was nine years old. <laughs> Who knows, nine. <laughs> and now, now I'm here. <laughs> and, and, now, and now he's here. <laughs> and I'm trying to tell him, don't, not so fast, you know. Yeah. Don't, don't. It's like the Icarus. You know, remember the Icarus <laughs> who flew up there? Yeah, but you, you have all the energy. Yeah. And you have all that, but uh, uh, slow down. Mm -hmm. Listen to the elders, otherwise you're going to <laughs> melt your, your, your wax up there and <laughs> take, and fall a, take from a fall. The sky. Down, yeah. So, yeah. so basically what I'm trying to say is that, look, let us be a nation of laws. If you want to be a nation of anarchy, fair enough. Sifuna can go and demonstrate there. Does he have the instruments of government? But is he, isn't ignoring the court? No, no, and no, no. The, courts, the courts are wrong. The courts are plain wrong. But then how do you it. decide? Because if you say that, then yes. how do you decide that this is, this is the right uh, law by the court and this is wrong? You see, you go back to parliament and say, make the law for this. Anytime you find a lacuna in law, yeah. or you find, it's, it's say, we can't, we can't what you call arbitrate on this because there's no law. Sefuna says the judges can make the law. But what about the remedy? If there's an appeal, you can go all the way to the Supreme Court. You Isn't can go to all the way to the Supreme Court, but even the Supreme Court will announce itself this and say, look, this is not provided for in law. So go back and get, let Parliament create the law. 
When you don't have a law, then the status quo ante remains. Trevor. Okay. Listen, you get my point. You don't legislate from the bench. Okay. There's, you can't legislate from the bench. The same way you cannot run the judiciary from the, from the executive or, or parliament cannot run. Parliament cannot. You see, we have something called subjudice in law here. Yeah. Any matter that's before, before a court cannot be discussed in parliament. Not that what is in court itself, the parliament is not is, is sufficiently uh, 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 qualified to discuss that. Parliament can discuss things. But because it's in court, you don't. The same way, what is in parliament, the courts cannot part into it. They wait until the piece of legislation comes out of it. What kind of courts do we have right now? Where you can go anywhere in the country and get orders. And then, how do you get orders on the government on such a big things, ex parte? And you can serve the government. The government is in every village. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Government is everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's not that I can't find the government to serve these things to them. You understand my point? Instead of making the service to the government, yeah. you offer these things ex parte, and any judge anywhere will say, no, oh, I've given these orders. Now, that is that is ignorance of the law. I think we've got too many people who are not qualified to become judges who are out there and are basically coming out with what you call judicial despotism, <laughs> informed more than anything else by ignorance okay. of, of, of the philosophy of law and the way democracy works and the way that separation itself works. Because if you don't, if, if they continue doing what they're doing, the executive has got the instruments of government. The, government. Mm. the legislator has got the ins instruments of lawmaking. The legislature can come together right now and make any law. Okay. You get my point? Uh, so you try to butt into those two arms. Mm -hmm. If they decide also to maintain, to come with despotism, executive despotism, or they come up with legislative despotism, they'll make you relevant the following day. Mm -hmm. Because these guys can, can change the law anytime they want and, and, and shackle your hands as judiciary and throw you out. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to tell them is that let the judiciary be a teacher for the nation. Let them do something way above the very things that they're engaging in right now. Yeah. It's good for our country. But there was a dialogue between executive and judiciary. Was that... Look, there is, there is, you see, ordinarily, let me tell you one thing. Yeah. Ordinarily, uh, uh, you know, the same American constitution, you remember the American constitution, which is the mother of all constitutions, classified the black man as a three-fifth of a of a, of a person. Yes, of a person. <laughs> but then it says, it talks of uh, the, the preamble of the constitution itself, equality. Is all men are equal. Equality of man. We are all created equal. Mm. Uh, you, you know what I mean? We are all created equal. But within the same, again, it says a black man is, or a slave is a three-fifth of a... There's a contradiction in there. The contradiction. But when you read that, you look at the sociological atmosphere at the time when this constitution was created. Because that's when we are, they were practicing slavery, left, right, and center. So. You, you need to understand a lot of things way beyond the figurative face value of the Constitution itself. Ah, the Constitution says this article, you have a right to a clean air. I need a clean air because I was working from seeds and, and you know, I can't even breathe because there's too much yeah. pollution. And it, of course, pollution is there. You, you get my point? Okay. You don't do that. All right. You, you, you see what I mean? Yeah. So what I'm basically trying to say is yeah. that, look, all these very uh, lofty, flowery, good intentions in the Constitution itself, uh, with this, there's what's called a non judiciability There's things that you cannot, the judiciary cannot adjudicate on. Okay. So, Sifuna, how do we, how do we uphold the, public, the separation the, of powers? The public can see why I cannot, I cannot take advice from Farah Malim. Yeah. Uh, when he tells me to go slow, so you are, my wings will fall off. They are my wings. <laughs> Let them fall off if they will. But I will move at the speed that I'm moving with. Because it is, I want to tell you, Farah, it is possible for a president to govern in accordance with the law. You are saying things that do not even exist, and I want to advise you to leave the law to the lawyers. Because because can I just, can I just no, remind let me you finish. one thing? Can let I just finish. remind you something? Yeah, let me just finish. Write it down for I have said I've refused Pardon. all your advice, because I can see you are speaking from a position of severe ignorance. There is no law in Kenya against being gay. That law does not exist. You've just created it here. The criminal or the penal code puts a penalty on having sexual conduct that is against the order of nature, including between a man and a woman. There is a law in this country called statutory rape. You people, where you come from, call it early marriage of children. You will not speak about those things, Farah, because you know you are picking the ones that you think are convenient for you to push your arguments. When somebody takes this constitution and swears upon it, he should know what he's swearing upon uh, uh, Trevor.
If you read this document at Article 2, it tells you what forms the law of this country. It includes customary law, but that customary law must be in accordance with this constitution. It includes the general rules of international law that shall form part of the law of Kenya. Judges develop the law, my brother. They develop the law. When there's uh, those gaps in the law, they will tell you, like the Supreme Court, so the when way, they, they, they identify, the let, let me just say, when the, uh, the Supreme Court identified gaps uh, in the presidential case uh, regarding whether uh, the, a majority of uh, commissioners should agree or whether all the commissioners should participate in announcement of, of, uh, of the presidential results, they threw that ball back to Parliament. But when Parliament goes to make those laws, Parliament itself as an institution is subject to the Constitution. The Constitution requires that people, the people, participation of the people was elevated from the Kanu Constitution, which I'm sure is still stuck somewhere in your head. It elevated the people's participation in lawmaking to a level where if you do not have effective public participation, that law will be struck out. That is not judicial overreach. Now, all of these things, Trevor, my brother Mungatana was trying to paint a picture of us in the opposition as people who don't participate in debates and is trying to conflict my decision to reject or to not to sit there and listen to Ruto's lies during the presidential debate. And do you know what? No, no, no. Even during that presidential no, debate, I, nobody I think, is allowed to speak. Just let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. We are not in parliament. How can we be parliamentary? We are on TV. We are not in parliament. King is not here to protect you. We have to speak the way we speak. This is not parliament. I can say. Who says I cannot say? This is not your show. It is his show. Let him be the one to tell you what I can say. Let, let, let me address Let me finish. Yeah, no, let I'll finish. Let me address And then you'll address me. You let me finish talk, first. But let me you finish cannot first. call people okay. at Let me finish lying. first. Okay. How, how can you say this? It is, is the English answer. language. No. If something no, is not no. true, it's in, called a lie. In in my this is not parliament. In my custom, you don't talk to elders or people. Pokomo custom. We are not here under Pokomo custom. We are not here under Pokomo custom. Talk with respect. Let's have some what, no, what, talk with respect. What, what I want to say here. This is okay. not a public rally of ODM. You can't come here is, and start calling the president lying. If you want us to operate, the president is not a Pokomo. The president is not a Pokomo. He's not an elder. He's not an elder. Okay, Mungatana, hold on. No, Sifuna, he should respect people. Agree. You can't come and say the president is telling lies. It is lies. If people are older than you, if people are older than you, please address them with decorum. This is not a public rally. Agreed. Decorum, yes. Let me tell you, you did not call us here under Pokomo customary law. Correct. So let him but take Pokomo customary law back to Garsen. Uh, I was not going to sit and listen to Ruto's lies so as I, an elected and, official, and so I'm I saying, chose to stay away from that debate. So but I'm saying, the point Trevor, that I am making you need in terms to of public law... correct okay. the way we use our language it, here. We it are it before the public. Yes, you will, uh, you will answer yeah, that. The, yes, uh, you know, the president is a liar. I can say it a hundred times. And I can demonstrate it to you. And I did it. To do I did it debate. before Parliament yeah. this is and wrong. explained this the points is wrong. Is wrong. that this were is not factual. This is Can wrong. I okay. Not factual yeah. is not the same as lies. Let's, not factual is lies. It is okay. not. Hold on. Let, let the younger no. gentleman hold on. Let's listen. Ah, yeah. to no, no, let me finish. Let's, I had not let's, finished. Let's, I'm, let's, I'm being heckled. I had not finished. I had not finished. And this is the tactic they want to use for me Let me finish. Let me finish. I will finish. If you don't want me to come to this show, you can tell me you can have these Pokomo elders come and praise <laughs> the president all they the want. But if, when, I am here, will when I am here, I will speak because it is not Mugatana that invited me here. It all is right. you. Okay. Now, when it comes to the question of public participation, he said that, oh, I, he didn't see Sifuna appearing at public participation. I'm not a member of the public. Who the public participation is for people to speak openly about programs that are being run by people in the legislature and people in the, in the executive. Yes. So that by the time it comes, my turn will come. My turn will come when the bill comes to the House for me to debate. I don't want to go into a public participation, hog all the limelight as an elected member, have my views uh, precede the views of other people, ordinary people. This is a forum that has been created for ordinary people. That is why, Trevor, the, uh, when the question of BBI went before the courts, 
Do you remember the court saying that the president is not a person who can initiate a constitutional amendment because of his position in society? So these people who go to public <coughs> participations, you are an elected senator, you are an elected member of parliament, you go there with people in buses, you have brought your own people to pay them and to try and shape the opinions of the people. Allow the public to speak freely about the programs that we are initiating both as a legislator and the executive. Finally, I want to say this, Trevor. Me, Mr. Ogopi. If my wings will be clipped today, let them be clipped. But I'm asking myself this question. If it is true that the people of Kenya have rejected this housing levy, the courts have found fault with this housing levy, you have a person in the executive saying he will disobey court orders, he has already disobeyed the will of the people, saying they will proceed with this thing anyway. What is in it for him? I will not be surprised, Trevor. If you go and do a deep dive into this particular project, you will find the suppliers of this uh, material for construction is his friends, if not himself. He will find he's the one bringing cement, you will find he's the one bringing uh, the construction steel, and and some of these people, they are just talking here. When the truth about this housing project comes out, all of these people will be put to shame. So let us not be gagged. Let us speak freely because that is what the Constitution guarantees us. Well, you will not I, be threatened. Can I, right. say, can I say something? To first, of all, to you. first of all, uh, Trevor, we are before the public. We are not in a public rally here. It is proper for us to respectfully address each other and respectfully address those who are not seated with us here. Have, have, have the courtesy of, of, he is the president of the Republic of Kenya. I don't stand and say, Raila is a liar. Raila is doing But you can say I, that. No, it's not That right. is the constitution it is not guarantees right. freedom of speech. It is not right. And the limitations and are this there. Kind, this kind of If Raila tells a lie, you no, can say this is a lie. Right. That's yeah. not right. That's well, not right. It's not right. And this reflects the generational issues in this uh, leadership. You know, there are people who have no restraint whatsoever. No restraint whatsoever. They talk like they are in their, in the, in the, in their the bedrooms or their streets. It is wrong. When we are, we are talking to your elders, you talk with respect. You elders, what and have I you want, done for this country? You have missed this say, country for I, the other I, generations. And I want to, you are not people to speak. And I want to say this. The fact of the matter, and which you can't run away from, is that the courts, the Court of Appeal, did not say that this is unconstitutional. The housing levy is unconstitutional. The court was very clear. It was saying that it was introduced through the Finance Act without a proper legal framework having been set. And that is why the Affordable Housing Bill uh, 2023, which is being uh, processed now, would be the correct place for us to debate and bring out all the ideas. And it is true. People have brought up so many ideas. And it is true that those ideas need to be sharpened, need to be debated, need to be so that this law is made proper. And I think I think that is not an issue that we should be we should we should be we should be complaining about. Okay. But when you say that uh, when Sifuna now stands here and says that he is not a member of the public, he is not a member of the public, and he, he he should not, it is a reflection of what I'm telling you. Let me tell you. The problem with our opposition, and not just in the, in, in the Senate, in our senior house, even in the, in, the, in the National Assembly, they don't stay through debates. Ah. And I have sat in other debates where... The Bokomo Eda is lying. <laughs> you are lying. You are now lying. No, let me tell let you. Me no, let me tell you. you. Put it in He's there. lying. No, let you me tell there. you. Sifuna, your people don't stay to the end. They don't debate issues. They take the easier way. They walk out and then they go to issue press statements outside the parliament buildings instead of engaging. Okay. And, I, and, I, and we have to call out these leaders for who they are. You are given a, a, a mandate under this constitution to debate. You are not given a mandate to go and speak in funerals and, and in, in party meetings there. And you think that that is the way you will change the law. I am inviting our colleagues. Public participation has taken place over this affordable housing. People have made their views known. And according to me, our people need houses. In fact, people need housing as a matter of yesterday. But there are issues in terms of how we implement this idea. And to me, I think when this matter comes, we need to take into consideration all the ideas that have been put there. We debate and bring into, uh, in, into, into action mm -hmm. what the people of Kenya want. I think that's, that's the way we should go. Instead of uh, throwing names and uh, whatever, this, this is not the way we run this country. This country will not be run by anger and it will not be run by, you know, a, a lack of patience. Okay. We need to engage each other yeah. and come with 
proper solution All because right. we need the houses. Yeah. We actually do. There's a story on a standard which I want us to come to, but Farah, you had something to say when your younger yeah, colleagues yeah. were at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, to begin with, uh, I don't want to call, I'll never call somebody a liar. <laughs> In Parliament, you, you have a language which you use which is uh, so it's misleading. Misleading. For example, uh, my son here, he's younger than my firstborn, by the way. It's the age of my secondborn. That's not to say that he's not, he could be the smartest and be smarter than all of us. I have no issue with that. It, he said that there was no wall that was built. And, and this is, it just says here. The president, is, it shows Donald Trump on the wall there giving his executive order. And they say that the 455 miles was built. You have a picture of the wall? Yes, yes. Let so, me see. It's here. There you can see. Farah, that's not a wall. Whatever it is, let me tell you. <laughs> Jesus. The wall, if, if, let me That's not a wall. Show the people. Let the barrier. The people, that picture. Just the barrier. Yeah. The barrier that was built. <laughs> I'm talking about the barrier that was built. Mm -hmm. Okay, you could decide it was steel. Whether it's a wall or a barrier. Wall or not the barrier. But it's a limitation of movement. But what I'm just yeah. basically saying is that yeah. the executive has a right to do what it wants yeah. without necessarily even referring it back to parliament in any democracy. Mm -hmm. You seek later on funding from parliament, parliament has a right to reject that. Uh, but in this case here, 455 you know, uh, miles was built. Yeah. And at the moment you know, Biden went out of office, stopped. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now you can see the reverse. I'm just trying to tell you how these things work. If you, if you don't want to respect the authority of the executive when you are in the legislature, the executive has the executive authority, it has the powers. It's going to, it, 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 like I said now, mm -hmm. uh, Ruta will say, okay, fine, the courts are rogue. And, and decide that we're going to reconstitute the entire judiciary system in the country. We tried, we did that with the Ringera. Uh, the, the, the Ringera team last time. Mm. You see what I mean? But what I'm trying to say is that if you want to have, you see, it's like us in the government, in, in, in opposition. I've been in the opposition myself for the longest, uh, uh, trying to use violence mm. on the government of the day. Whereas the monopoly of violence and firepower is with the government. You, you get my point? So what we are trying to do basically right now is saying that we will do this and activism to the extent of the university days yeah. uh, behavior. Somebody will just sit back and tell the international community and the Kenyans see the kind of thugs you are. Yeah. Uh, not talking about any logic, <coughs> friends, abusing everybody. And then unleash what they call their power on you. And nobody's going to sympathize with you. You, you see what I mean? So what I'm trying to say is that we, uh, we, we need to change something through a civilized manner. We already have the separation of power. We want to have a judiciary that works very well yeah. in accordance with the constitution and in accordance with the practices. Okay. You get my point. We, we don't have to go out there calling the, ex the executive names. The executive have the mandate. They were elected into this office. We lost. Whatever you want to say that we're rigged out, whatever it is, the, the, the thing, the constant right now is that there's a government in place. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to tell that is that let us try and deal with these things in a manner that is going to be good for posterity for this country. Okay. That I don't get subjected to the same things yeah. tomorrow when I become uh, a president because you created uh, a custom. Okay. Uh, a culture. Uh, and I think they are, they are, the more we, we are reformed, we, the more we refined and polished in the manner we engage ourselves, the yeah. better. Okay. You see, in, in, I'll just give you one final exam, example. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the speech of the president. Have you seen the speech of the, the, the State of the Union in the right now we have put in the State of the Union? Am I right? Is, what does it say, the, the, the theme today? State of the Nation. The State of the Nation. They have the State of the Union in the US. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it's the joint, what do you call? House, both houses together. Joint house. They come together, and, and the, the, Donald Trump was there as, <coughs> as, as the as the what do you call president. But of course, Nancy Pelosi was there as a speaker, and she was from the opposition. She did not say that I'm not going to go and attend there. The, 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 the custom and the character and the dignity of the institutions are there. You have to protect the institutions' dignities, okay. whether you are in office or not. Okay. You, you get my point, and, and that happens always. Now Biden is there. Yeah. It's reversed. The Republicans have the majority, the numbers in the House. Correct. As opposed to the other day when Donald Trump was there and they have they were there in minority. So what I'm trying to say is that, look, let us have a nation of civilized people who engage in a manner that essentially is, is, is not thuggery. It's not okay. out there in the streets. All right. Sifun, I want us to talk about the Haiti deployment before we come into the IBC. We are seeing